but you do have my attention as a fan. And I love um, battle rap. I look at it like my first love. So any upside to battle rap is an upside to, for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm always going to support that. And hopefully I could get on that stage one day because that's like a bucket list thing for me. Maybe I can cook one of y'all niggas one day. Um, if I ever felt like somebody said something to offend me, man, I wouldn't hesitate to just reach out to one of y'all brothers and call. And shit, you know what I'm saying? Talking about syllables, it's all on this page, you know what I'm saying? And um, and then he just started posting shit, and then in response to what you were saying, you know what I mean? And then RJ Payne and Ransom was like, Yo, we the two best niggas rapping right now, and then that's when I hit Royce and like, Yo, let's talk about this on live and just kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's see. Let's see what the energy is about. Like, let's see what everybody talking about. Let's get to the bottom of this. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Just see how everybody feeling. See how Royce feeling. See how uh, Ransom feeling. See how RJ feeling. See how Lupe feeling. I had Lupe on the live. You know what I mean? And nah, then what? What made him? What? Now, nah, what made Royce feel some type of way about me talking about syllables? Like, I don't get that part. What he was talking about? Like, what was the problem? I have no idea. I mean, I he just it's on it's on that lot. It's on my page, like because Lupe Lupe was like, yeah, he was talking about Cassidy, and I was like, I I don't, I don't know anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just trying to facilitate facilitate the conversation. I'm trying to push the conversation forward because I was lost, like everybody else was. He just started. He was on his rant. You know what I mean? And you know, niggas was talking about what they was talking about. Mm. So that's I'm what that's what that was. I'm still confused. I don't really know what the fuck. <laughs> what the fuck the issue is like. <laughs> like what the fuck is the issue? I don't know if it's an issue. I just I what niggas trying to just what niggas trying to get back to just proving who the best. Like what niggas trying to do? Or prove who the best on beat? Or what niggas is trying to do? What's the issue? What, what was so? This is the question. What did you say? In that interview, because I still haven't seen that interview. Um, I'm not sure because that mad shit that we did, we did that shit was a long interview. Like we was just in the house zoning out, so I don't know. He chopping up parts. I don't know what like what he putting up. Right. But I know when I was talking about the syllable shit, I was breaking down. You know what I mean the amount of syllables niggas be piecing up. You know what I mean? How hip hop started, the transition it made in the 80s and the 90s, the early 2000s, and where we at with it now. And I was giving examples of dope MCs that's considered to be dope or have pens or piece up a lot of syllables. But some of the best shit that I like from them niggas is when they don't piece up. What's going on, world? It's your boy T Man, right back in the attic, right back at it for another day of this battle rap. Ooh, so we got a a situation going on. We got Royce the Five Nine. You know what I'm saying? He been in a competitive state with uh, the industry rappers lately, talking about the rhyme patterns, the metaphors, the similes, and the um the science, basically the whole science of this rapping thing, right? <clears throat> I knew it wasn't going to be long before Cassidy jumped in and had to weigh in on that because, you know, Roy's talking about he the best at rhyming and, and the similes, the patterns and all of that. Like, so, you know, you got um, Cassidy had jumped on with Mickey Fax on IG Live or whatever. And he basically was saying he, you know, like he don't even know what Royce the Five Nine talking about because he the one that pretty much started everything. So you know what I'm saying? You got you got a uh, Royce the Five Nine. He going at Mickey Fax, uh, R J Payne, Lupe Fiasco. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these industry pins. You know what I mean? And it's a respectable way that he's going about it. He just basically saying he the best, but he's saying it in a respectable way. He's not trying to, you know what I'm saying, really go at nobody character or try to play nobody in the process. You know what I'm saying? Because Royce, he, he's, a big, he's a big name. You know what I'm saying? Um, he might have the biggest name out of all of those that I mentioned besides Cassidy, but 
that's me neither here nor there you know what i'm saying we're gonna get straight into it though cassidy he spoke his mind about the science of the battle rap and he basically stated hey I, he started all of that he was like people wasn't rapping um the way they rap now until after he came out now a lot of that stuff is you know his opinion because you never know man you, you know what i'm saying people be the rapping they they got their own style of rap or whatever man everybody ain't just follow cassidy in my opinion man and i go way back uh with cassidy because he used to be one of my top um battle i'm not battle rappers just industry rappers in general and i do feel like he he paved the way for a lot of people i just can't say everybody like i mean cassidy had a couple good albums i mean he he didn't drop a whole bunch of albums but i'm talking about like the mainstream um albums he had a few of those and I'm not saying everybody jumped on that wave, but you can't get mad at that man for stating what he stated because that's how he feel. That's his opinion. And, and maybe he maybe he got some legs. Maybe what he's saying is as much syllables is required nowadays. And I gave an example of one of them Eminem raps. So I don't know if that made him feel some type of way or something. But all I be basing it off is the science. My shit ain't opinionated. I'm not giving my opinion on whether I like a nigga or not. I'm just basing this shit off the science. Right. And I gave an example. I was quoting the lyrics and I was breaking it down. And you can actually hear how many syllables it is. It's not my opinion on how many syllables the nigga rhyming is actual fact or what the nigga did. So right. I'm just bringing that to light. Somebody so not only can rappers, not only rappers get like this and get more competitive and get on these shit and even be able to understand how dope this round was compared to another round that they wrote, but also so the fans that love hip hop or be able to understand how to judge it, understand who they like the best and who is they favorite and understand how to break down bars better than just being a random fan. Because a lot of niggas is just fans, but don't even really understand what makes a nigga dope. They don't fully understand what makes a bar hot. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of rappers that write dope bars, when they write it, they don't understand how they wrote it. They just following a bunch of shit that they heard and compressing a lot of information together to come up with it but to duplicate exactly what they did like if a person like a line you should be able to duplicate that line again and again and again if you know the science all right i pieced up this amount of syllables i use this type of figurative language and i play with niggas minds and like this way so i can just do the same thing over again and keep doing it but niggas don't understand the formula. They don't, they don't understand the science, so they can't duplicate it. That's why they just sporadically writing. But I gave an example, like with Tylenol and aspirin, it's a science to making a Tylenol. So it's your opinion, like on what rapper is the best, right? Just right. like it's your choice on whether you want to take a Tylenol or aspirin or Advil, that's your choice. But it's a science behind making the pill. And that's why no matter if you took a Tylenol in 99 or 2009, it's the same pill and it's going to do the same thing. It's the same ingredients and the same shit because it's the science behind it. Right. And that's what I want niggas to know that it is with this rap shit. And the only people that's going to be able to explain it is niggas like us on this live right now. Niggas that's putting time in and niggas that really know, you know what I mean, how to explain it. And that's what I'm around for. So I don't feel niggas should feel no type of way about that. That's all helping and benefiting and, and um contributing to the culture. So I don't think nobody should feel no type of way about these Jews and this information that I'm dropping. And if they do, like, um, ain't shit change with me. Like, I've been the same way since I was 16, 17 years old. So niggas can't just get it on beat. Niggas could get it on stage, face to face. However niggas want it, like niggas could pick, they, they could choose. We can do it the old school way, no beat face to face. We could do it this new school way on the big stage with a crowd screaming. We could go in the booth and do it on beat. Niggas already know how I give it up. This shit ain't fake with me. When I'm talking this science shit is because I really can do it and I really can rap and I can keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again. This shit ain't a fluke. So if niggas want to get busy, um, I give niggas the red carpet, man. Niggas can, you know what I mean? Just let me know and we can get busy whenever niggas is ready. 
but yeah. some, I'm just trying to benefit the culture. I'm trying to help the culture. And that's the reason why I'm dropping the most records. I dropped three albums recently. Been dropping wild freestyles. Just did a new song with E. Ness, a new song with Rosenberg, a new song with K. Walker, a new song with Jag. I'm doing new songs with all my team captains from my tournament. I've been putting out just new shit all the time. Just released a new video, um, Clayco remix from these Southside niggas from Clayco out here in Atlanta where I'm at now. I'm just constantly doing shit, constantly dropping shit, and constantly showing niggas that I'm the nicest. Just dropped that 110, um, rolling 110 deep with K Slay. It's like 110 niggas on it. Just dropped the video for that. Arguably got the best verse with 110 or 109 other niggas that get busy. And I arguably got the best verse. Wild niggas saying I killed the shit. So it's like, I'm constantly getting busy. Like, so, um, these niggas get busy every once in a while. Like, I constantly get busy. So, in order for niggas to be able to judge who the nicest and who giving it up the most, they got to learn the science. And that's the reason why I'm teaching it to niggas. I mean, I can't really dig that deep into it and try to do that much research. That's just crazy. Like, I love my job and everything, but I ain't about to do all that. I ain't going all the way back to 2001 and shit like that, trying to find out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, how true all of this is. Well, I might, if y'all ask for it, I might, you know what I mean? I'll do whatever for the people. But um, in my, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying, I think that both of them, both of them MCs is, is, is pioneers of this shit. Like, like especially they the way they rap you know what i'm saying um royce is real what's the word i'm looking for like he's real strategic behind his rhymes and his patterns and things like that like he definitely got a new way of of doing rap you know what i'm saying i, I would say a lot of people tried to follow hit him but all in all you know what i'm saying royce responds back and he speaks on possibly getting on the battle rap stage. Now that's the part that caught my attention. You know what I mean? Because I don't care what these industry rappers gonna do. Oh, we gonna make some songs. We gonna make a few songs here and there. We gonna see who song the best. You know what I mean? Like a song battle type thing. Uh, I ain't really into that. Like I like seeing direct in your face. I'm better than you. We on this stage, everybody watching. I'm about to say some stuff that's about to make you look bad. And you about to try to say something to make me look bad, but we going to see who make who look worse. You know what I mean? I like that type of rap. But, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Royce is my dog. I like his music. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Detroit. And definitely shout out to Philly and Cass. You know what I'm saying? Because Cass my guy as well. Um, but it was just cool hearing Royce talk about getting into battle rap because that would be great. Like, even if it's for one plate, like, I just been wanting to see Roy Royce, you know what I'm saying, doing this thing in the battle rap uh, field anyway. You know what I'm saying? I've been looking for this. So now that he actually mentioned it, because this is my first time. I mean, I'd heard him, you know, flirt with it a little bit. This is my first time hearing him actually say, like, yeah, I want to touch the stage. That's something that's on my bucket list. Like, when you saying stuff like that, that make me feel like you really about to get out there and get on the stage and you about to try to perform it and, and, and be a battle rapper. And I, I, me personally, I open Royce open arms to come in here into this battle rap culture and do your thing, man. Because I know he got exactly what it takes to be dope. Now, I would rather him come in and do a little warm up battle. Um, everybody's saying, like, if he come in, he going to end up battling Cassidy. That'd be nice, though. I ain't going to lie to you. I wouldn't mind um, Cassidy and Royce battling. I wouldn't mind him getting a warm up battle with, like, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't want to see him battle nobody up and coming because they the up and comer gonna be hungry. I want to see Royce battle. I don't know exactly who. I mean, Cassidy that would make for great TV. You know what I mean? It'll it'll probably get a million views in the first day. But Royce a different type of person. He not like uh, most of these battle rappers, so he not gonna be in the face off going all crazy. That face off probably would be boring. And you know, Cassidy good at face offs, but you ain't getting under Royce the five nine skin. I'm sorry, he just, his mind is just at a whole different place. Like, he's a grown man. Like, he's not going to let anybody control the narrative and, and, and put him in a position to where he look off kilter. Like, he 
ain't on his A game. Now, I don't think that's going to happen. Now, I could be wrong, you know what I'm saying? My, this shit is speculation. We don't really know exactly how the face-off will be. For all I know, Royce will come in there and start spazzing and barking on Cass. And then Cass get in his bag and you know how Cass doing them face-offs. I don't know. But I am interested to know um, if Royce actually do. After this little um, IG post he just put up, I'm pretty sure that somebody's gonna give him a call and um, somebody's gonna probably call Cassidy, you know what I mean? But there's some other people I wouldn't mind him battle. Like, I wouldn't mind seeing him battle a, a Mook, you know what I mean, the Loaded Lux. Like, that'd be dope, but you know, we'll see. You know what I'm saying? With the industry rappers, when they come in, they pretty much get whatever plate they want, you know what I mean? Because they gonna draw the attraction or whatever. So, I'm just gonna ask my listeners or whatever, my subscribers, like and subscribe when y'all get a chance. If you're not subscribed already to my channel, this is a perfect time to do it. It only take two seconds, like one or two. It's quick. But I would like to see, hear from y'all like in the comments. Leave a comment below. Let me know exactly who y'all think would win if Royce the 5-9 battled Cassidy. Or you can also let me know who you would rather see him battle because everybody's not interested in seeing Cassidy this fast after he just got done with, with Hitman. And a lot of people just don't want to see Cassidy at all. Then you got the mass majority of people that know that Cassidy's the energy and they want to see Cassidy. And if y'all those people, tell me who's going to win that between Cassidy and Royce the 5-9 if they were to ever get this um, together. If they were to get it together, I'm pretty sure it'll be top of the year next year sometime. I don't think that would be happening any time in 2021. I could be wrong. You know what I mean? I ain't perfect, goddammit. But in my opinion, I think it's going to be the top of the year next year sometime. You might see Cassidy like around March or something. Cassidy, Royce the 5-9. But if if it was somebody else that he was going to battle, or Arsenal, or Hollow the Don, a Loaded Lux, a Murder Moo, a Geechee, like, I want to see it. You know, I'm here for it all day, every day. Who y'all got winning that? You know what I'm saying? Y'all touch down with me, man. It's your boy T-Man right back in the attic for another day of this battle rap shit. I'm